Our next honorees, Judge Stephen and Ellie Sopranco. Judge Sopranco, I think uh, the last time our paths crossed, you were wearing a black robe. And I was wrongfully accused of having a lead foot, but I thank you. I thank you for your legal wisdom that day. And to present the Pillars Award to the Sopranco's is Rabbi Scott Sheen who uh, took the news from me very well when I told him a little earlier that he is no longer my favorite rabbi. That is because my niece Leah was ordained last year, and Rabbi Shpeen understands. <laughs> I would, uh, I would like to begin by extending my heartfelt congratulations to Phoebe Morse and to our Beth Emmett Youth Group President and our shining superstar, Alex Goldberg, <laughs> on receiving the Bellin and Applebaum Memorial Awards. As young adults, their leadership and commitment to the Jewish community is certainly a wonderful role model for others to emulate and demonstrates, Mom. I believe, to all of us Mom. that our future will surely be in good hands. Yasha Koach to you both. I also want to congratulate Tom on being this year's recipient of the award dedicated to Susan's memory for his outstanding service and dedication to the JCC as Associate Director for Fitness and Membership. <clears throat> he worked with Susan for several years and I know that she would be pleased that you were being recognized this morning and receiving an award named in her memory. Congratulations. This year's recipients of the prestigious Pillars Award join a very impressive list of those honored for their community service. My heartfelt and heartiest congratulations go to Rona and Louis Jack Posner, as well as to our Beth Emmett congregants, Carol and David Grant. Both couples have long-standing connections to our community and have been actively involved in so many organizations, in so many ways, and for that, we are most grateful. Congratulations. I am, I'm very honored this morning to have been invited by Ellie and Steve Sofranco to present to them the Pillars Award on behalf of the Sydney Albert Albany Jewish Community Center. I'm honored to do so not only because I have been their rabbi for the past 32 years and have shared in most every significant or special occasion or event with them and their family, from the joyous moments to the most difficult, and in so doing, have come to value and treasure their friendship. I'm honored because Every rabbi should have congregants such as Steve and Ellie, so very supportive of Beth Emmett and all that we strive to do. Over the years, both Steve and Ellie not only have each served in leadership roles within our congregation, but both have been consistently and actively involved in so much of what happens at Temple, from regularly attending Shabbat services to lending a hand whenever needed. For the past 30 years, nearly every single major gala dinner at Beth Emmett has been chaired or coordinated by our very own Michael of Academy Road, our own party planner extraordinaire, our own dear Ellie. I'm honored because not only have Ellie and Steve been actively involved in the life of our congregation since their teenage years in youth group, both having been confirmed at Beth Emmett, but they have instilled that same love and dedication to Temple 
to their children, such that both Abby and Andrew are now leaders in the congregation as well. Abby actively involved in the leadership of our social action committee, and Andrew, who serves as first vice president of the congregation. Their grandchildren, Ariel, Alexis, and Chad, now represent the yeah. fifth generation at Beth Emma. Yeah. I'm honored to be presenting to them this award today because it acknowledges and recognizes Ellie and Steve's long-standing commitment to the greater Jewish community and through the many organizations in which they have been involved and have served in leadership roles. Community volunteerism is a core value in their lives, as exemplified by the numerous things that they have done as articulated in the program booklet. And more importantly, and for me, I think most significantly, as evidenced by the admiration, the respect, the affection, and the love in which they are held by all who know them throughout our community at large. But I really must admit that I am most honored this morning to be presenting this award to Ellie and Steve because truth be told, I might not even be here this morning in part were it not for the Sofrancos. Steve was a member of the selection committee that brought me to Beth Emmett many years ago, and Ellie has also served on our board and has an officer. In fact, legend has it that when a small group of the committee went down to Long Island for Shabbat to hear me deliver a sermon at the congregation I was previously serving, Fred Wander, who was also on the committee, wanted to grab a bite to eat at the old Howard Johnson's before heading down the throughway, which delayed the timing of their trip. Unbeknownst to me at the time, they then encountered the incredible Friday late afternoon traffic on the Long Island Expressway, but did make it to Temple in time for the services that night. After experiencing that horrible traffic and knowing that the congregation in Comac was really not for me, Steve Safranco came back and reported to the committee, we gotta get this poor kid out of there. <laughs> what kind of place is that for a nice Jewish boy? <laughs> well, the rest is history and here I am today. But what has not changed since that first meeting 32 years ago is Ellie and Steve's continued and staunch support of my rabbinate and everything that I have done here in Albany, just as they have embraced me over the years as part of their extended family. They too have shared both the joys and the heartaches with me and with my family as well. Their friendship is something that I truly treasure. So it is not just my honor then but it is also my pleasure and with great delight, with great admiration and with heartfelt affection that I present to a most deserving couple the 17th Annual Pillars Award for their outstanding commitment, dedication and devotion to our community. Thank you, Rabbi Sheen, for your kind words and for your presenting us with the Pillars of the Community Award. It's especially meaningful 
that your wife Susan was instrumental in establishing this award and that you presented it to us. How lucky we and everyone at Beth Emmett is to have a rabbi like you. You've always been there for us in good and bad times, and we value your friendship. As I always tell you, you're the best. Thank you to the Sydney Albert Albany Jewish Community Center and the committee that selected us to receive this award, along with our friends David, Carol, Louis, Jack, and Rona. A special thanks to our family and friends who came here to honor us today.
JP fundraiser project at his school. And we look forward to them continuing the tradition of community service wherever their lives may take them. I want to take a minute to tell you why the JCC means so much to me and has been part of my life since I was very young. Five generations of my family have used the facilities of the JCC. Both of my grandfathers were members and enjoyed participating in programs. My parents met at a basketball game at the center, and Stephen and I met at Casalaros after I attended a Delta Psi meeting one Monday in the evening at the old center. Our children attended camp and various activities, and their children attended nursery school at the Jed. I am fortunate that many of my friends that I met years ago at the center are still my friends today. Thank you.